I'd like to bring in Kevin Cirilli, who's our Chief Washington Correspondent, who joins us as well. Kevin, uh, what are the ramifications of this? Was it expected? Was it expected so soon? Bonnie, John Dowd out. Now the president's head of the legal counsel, Jay Sugalo, defending him, calling him a good friend and saying that they will continue to uh, co cooperate with the authorities as this investigation continues forward. Let's take it in the context of the political sphere here inside of Washington. There's been increased uncertainty amongst Republicans in particular about which action President Trump will take with regards to special counsel Bob Mueller. We should note that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell offering what was interpreted earlier this week as a warning of sorts to President Trump, saying that he ought not to fire Bob Mueller and saying, however, that he still believes that no legislation is needed to protect Bob Mueller from a potential firing. Mm. So there is this uh, this question uh, and wonderment uh, within Washington, within the halls of Congress, as well as in uh, in and around the Beltway, should the president ultimately decide to make that choice. Now, we should also note that a frequent Republican critic of President Trump, Senator Jeff Flake, uh, saying just a few days ago and, and saying that impeachment would be a word uh, that would come to mind with regards to should the president uh, ultimately decide to fire Bob Mueller. So that's the heightened awareness in terms of the conversation that is carrying with uh, the rumblings of the uh, the comings and goings of the president's legal team and I think is really important context to view it through uh, because that is where this question is headed is does the president ultimately feel that he needs to fire Bob Mueller and would he have support uh, within the Republican Party and right now there's a faction of Republicans he definitely wouldn't have any Democrats there's a faction of Republicans right now Bonnie that would not support that decision Clearly, Trump's legal team is seeking more firepower, isn't it, Kevin? What's the mood like within his team after the hiring of Joe DiGenova last week? Well, look, I think the bottom line is that this is a president who feels that this investigation has gone on way too long, that it has gone way beyond the initial scope of the investigation, which was to look at collusion with Russia. They feel that that had been settled long ago, uh, and they want to move on. The the, the issue for the legal team and the issue for the president is that the Republican Party in particular is divided on that point. Uh, and, and that division is, is why you've seen the likes of everyone from Senators Joe Kennedy uh, to, I'm sorry, Senators Kennedy to, to, to the majority leader uh, to even the folks who are frequent critics of him within his own parties, the Lindsey Grahams, the John McCains. Uh, they want to see this reach its natural conclusion, mm -hmm. regardless of what the president's legal team is pushing for. Winnie, on that point, how close are we to some <laughs> you know, actual results from Robert Mueller? It, it feels like we are right there, right? Uh, actually, it probably doesn't quite. No. He's working on a lot of different fronts all at once, and there is a lot of ground to cover. I would say we have quite a bit of work ahead from Robert Mueller. I would, as a caveat here, though, add one little thing. Uh, Trump could do things far short of firing Mueller that could impede this investigation. There's been talk about whether Sessions were to be replaced. Would someone else step into that role who would exert oversight? Might the funding be curtailed for Mueller and what he's doing? Might they try to rein it in? Uh, I could imagine some other steps being taken, and I don't think we should lose track of that.